my channel. I have my little brother here. He just graduated two days ago. Um, and we went up to see him at college, but now he's back for a couple of days before he moves. Um, so I just wanted to show him a couple quick recipes and share with you guys that I think will help him out because he was talking about transitioning to that plant-based diet. And I'm really excited because this is a recipe that you can put on like everything. For me, the hardest thing is thinking about like what salad dressings, what what dip dressings, what sauces, things like that that make eating the vegetables that I really like enjoyable. So we are going to make a queso dip, but we're going to spice it up with some salsa. And I make this dip for my husband and usually I would just get a can of salsa, but all of the sodium content in that is super high. So I'm trying to make my own salsa. So this is going to be really similar to the summer salsa from the How Not To Die cookbook. Um, and the cheese recipe we did in the last one is what we're going to do, but instead of putting it over the rice and broccoli, we're going to make it a queso dip, so literally you can use it as a dip, or if you want, you can put it on as a topping for like your favorite cheese substitute. So we're going to start with the salsa. Can you add the tomatoes? Of all of the ingredients below with the amounts, so this is about um, two really large um, tomatoes that we've just cut up. We're making that summer salsa. Can you add, do you wanna do, can you add the peppers? Um, I have half a cup of orange and red bell peppers. You can add them. Oh. Okay. All right, can you add um, our red onion? So again, this is a lot more nutritious than just buying a salsa. We're getting all those antioxidants in here. So a little bit of red onion, you don't have to go crazy with it. Can you squeeze the lime over it? So I have half a lime. Well, the lime. <laughs> okay, good. All right, now he on Dr. Gregor's cookbook, this is like the savory spice blend. I'm just gonna like eyeball it. I don't have any made right now. So we're just gonna take a little bit of paprika. We're going to take some parsley. Ooh. The rest of the parsley I have. Fancy. Look at that. Smokes it. It looks really, really good. Really pretty. Yeah. Some onion powder. And some nutritional yeast. And then you grab a spoon. It's in that door. We're going to mix this all up together. A spoon will do. Yeah, and can you fold in fold everything? It. So that was really easy. It was super quick. No We're already finished. Easy. I mean, you can buy a dry salsa, but the sodium content usually is super high in those. So we just are making our own. Looks good already. More like a chunky salsa, but oh. we're going to use that cheese sauce to really kind of use it as a liquid and then it's going to get really thick. And this is great to take to a summer party. Um, you don't have to tell anyone that it's vegan. People, you know, probably wouldn't say anything. And it's super healthy. You can eat this literally every day. Vegan surprise. <laughs> and it would be, so that looks great. So I'm gonna show you guys how wonderful that salsa looks. It's definitely a chunky salsa. If you wanted to make it more of a smooth salsa, you could put it in the food processor and blend it together or in the Vitamix. But I like more of a chunky salsa, personally. What do you, what do you like, more of a? Chunky. A chunky? Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna make the cheese sauce from the last recipe. Can you grab the blender? Yeah. I have a Vitamix blender. Um, I don't know how I could live without it. Seriously, it's the best. And we're actually gonna do something really cool from a response from my last video. Someone said instead of heating it on the skillet, we could just let it heat up in here. And I didn't think about it last time, so we're gonna see if it'll thicken up just in the blender without having to dirty another pan, which is super easy. Can you add two cups of water? So how do you heat it up in a butter mix? So you just let it you just let it go. And then oh, really? you heat it up, yeah. Can you add half a cup of rolled oats? And then in here we have our cornstarch, our nutritional yeast, and our miso. It's two tablespoons of cornstarch, so this is that binding ingredient that's really important. A fourth a cup of nutritional yeast and a tablespoon of miso that makes it salt replace. So go ahead. Just carefully oh. add it all, all in. Oh, oh. You can do a little bit oh. at a time. Here I'll 
Yeah. Okay. What is this? This is cornstarch. Don't lick your finger. It's gross. That's what you did the last time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of gnarly. Can you get me a fork? So one of the special ingredients here is the oats, but also the red pepper. And I just buy a, a jar of like roasted red, pep red pepper. You could roast them yourself. I like it to be convenient a little bit because I'm already chopping and doing everything else. And I just add like maybe like half of, a, of an actual red pepper, maybe a little bit more. I like, I like pepper. Um, and that's gonna make it be cheese colored as well as the nutritional yeast. So we're gonna blend this together. We're gonna leave it on. Um, super long. We're also gonna add a little bit of onion powder to it, and I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it go and see if it'll heat up in the Vitamix. Sorry. We already did. You put it on us. I tried to blend it in our Vitamix, and it doesn't seem to work. It's still very liquidy. It's really hot, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it my way. I do it on the stove top and just whisk it on a really high heat. I don't know if it's the motion or the blender or whatever it didn't work for me in the Vitamix to make it that really sticky kind of stringy cheese that we want for our dip so I'm gonna go and do this and then I will show you guys the end product once you heat it up on the skillet it should get definitely a little stringy not crazy but just a little bit and now you're just gonna pour it over your summer salsa Ooh. or chunky salsa looks good Hold it in there. Yeah, hold on, let me get it off. So you'll definitely see towards the bottom, it's definitely thicker cheese. All right, now we're gonna fold in. We're just mixing in slightly. Wow, looks good. And it definitely looks like a queso dip, don't you think? Oh, absolutely. I picked the right bowl because it's almost overflowing. Okay, and you can put this in your fridge and make it cold. You can um, just take it like this and serve it warm, but I will show you a close up. We are gonna show you how to dress this. I'm making some homemade potatoes that are really simple. You can maybe put it on hash browns. I'm also gonna show you a couple different ways to use this. You can use it with carrots or celery or take it to a party, you know, and get some whole grain pita or something like that. That would be awesome in this. So I. I'm gonna do a couple of things and we'll have our chef try it out. But it was pretty easy. Yeah, like nothing. Yeah, like so, and then it's this together. amount definitely would last, two people definitely would last over a week. Maybe four people would last a week. It's a good amount. Yeah, no, it's a lot. And lately I've just been making it, you know, on Monday and then we've been enjoying it all week. But I really like this, this way because all of the tomatoes and, um, peppers really add to it and make it kind of like a chunky queso but you can leave that out if you don't like it you can just make the queso dip and take it to a party you can add a can or a jar of salsa if you want it's up to you i like it this way because this is a whole food plant-based way of getting it in and it lets me feel like i'm cheating a little bit but i'm not so yeah we're gonna go dress this up and we'll be back to show you how it how it looks and how it tastes on things Our queso dip on and you've been waiting to try it I have I'm really hungry so it's really hot probably wow that is really good so this is a great alternative for like brunch or a snack or if you have teenagers that maybe are picky um, you don't have to do the salsa you can you can blend it up or not do the salsa and if they're um, if they're a little picky, maybe not the chunks parts in it, but the flavor I think is really good. You don't have to tell anyone it's vegan. It goes great on pretty much anything. And yeah, so we just did oil-free hash browns, put this on top, 
and I have two more ways to show you how to enjoy this that are just quick and easy and simple again for teenagers, people in college. I enjoy it. Um, so pretty much anyone. Hits everyone. You get the whole, whole, whole spectrum. Hits people. everyone. But so just that you can make this and just use it in like so many different ways. So he's gonna go eat that, and I'm gonna go make the second part. Not the whole thing, but you know. Something. For our next dish, I made a spaghetti squash with marinara sauce, and then instead of doing like a Parmesan cheese, you're gonna put the queso salsa. So I'm just mixing up our marinara in our spaghetti squash, and I'm gonna top it with the queso salsa we made. I'm so hyped up, this is gonna be so different. It's I like think it's a different experiment. way, and it was like really easy. I showed him how to make the um, spaghetti squash in the microwave, so it's like super quick. It was quick, it was like 15 minutes. Right? It was nothing. It might be a little hot. I'm excited. But just an, an alternative to like a Parmesan or shredded cheese, you can definitely oh, wow. do this, and it's a lot of flavor, no and it's way. like all vegetables you're eating. I was really, really, really critical. That's when you put the marinara sauce on and the cheese. I was like, no, nah, I got work. Some really good stuff. Yeah, it's some really good stuff. I'm so all about this. So that's a meal option if you make this. Oh um, so it doesn't have to be a dip, it can be a topping. So he's gonna go have that for dinner. And then I have oh, one really more good. way that was really quick, just wow. a different way of making like fries um, without oil and doing it at home. So as soon as that comes out of the oven, we'll show you how to top it with this as well. It's not ready yet. All right, let's go so get it. So it like a breakfast, Kind of a breakfast yeah, and then a couple of sides and then dinner. But you could do it, you know, you can have spaghetti squash for breakfast if you want. Oh, that'd be weird. It would be weird. Be weird. But if there's so eat... much fiber. Think about it. There's like oats in this there that you can even tell. If you eat spaghetti squash for uh, breakfast, you're a little weird. Our last dish is these oil-free french fries that I just cooked up on parchment paper. We put some paprika on them and they come up nice and crispy. So again, same idea like cheese fries. I'm trying to think of like those comfort college. Oops. College! <laughs> since you finished. Or just in general, like I like. Who doesn't like French fries? Too. So again, you're just gonna drizzle that queso salsa on top. And then you have kind of like a dipping sauce for your cheese mm. fries. That's awesome. So those are three easy ways. I know we did two different types of potato but you could do this on anything. It could be just broccoli. You could put this on any vegetable. Anything you use for a cheese queso dip, you could do this. I'm totally gonna making this for whenever we're hanging out by the pool. Oh. And you know, I want a snack, but I don't want anything bad. Same with that nighttime, like when you're looking to like just snack on something, uh, you can eat this and not feel bad because it's not cheese, so. And all the ingredients are super healthy and whole food plant-based. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe. Share this with somebody you know. Share it on Facebook or anywhere else to let more people know. I have lots of whole food plant-based recipes coming out. We're still doing the How Not to Die Cookbook. I'm just taking a little break while he's home to show him some of my personal favorites. We're going to film a couple more videos while he's home. Sorry I was so, uh, so dead in this one, <laughs> but uh, I had to drive like six hours yesterday. So it's or seven hours yesterday. So... Yeah, he had a big weekend. He was um, busy doing a lot of things for his graduation and yeah. ceremony. But I'm happy to do this before he leaves so he can go home and redo this and cook it up for the wife. Yeah, try to, you know, incorporate some more plant based items and look like does this look like you're depriving yourself? No, um, it looks really good. I don't think so. It is so really good. We're gonna go enjoy this. I will see you guys next time. Bye.